Hi traders, FedEx is my main candidate today. It's gapping down today, almost 6%. That's a nice technical reversal here under 170.50. And I'll be risking approximately 60 or 70 cents. And we just touched under. Okay, I'll short it here. I'm short. I'm taking quite a bit of a risk here, but I really like this technical formation and earlier as you can see it came down very strong therefore very likely to continue the lows is 169.90 come on come on FedEx come down yes yes okay back to the lows back to the lows please watch the buyers at 170 I'm a bit concerned about the 170 mark here we are at the 170 big buyers at the whole number Come on, don't bounce. Here we go. And breakdown. What a beautiful breakdown. To any pullback now, I'm going to click the button. It's at my target right now. I'm taking now. Took my partial. A bit more than 50 cents. I was actually looking for more, but I'll be very happy with this one. I was very concerned uh, that FedEx will move up. Well-known company. People love to buy them when they're down. I'm happy to have a winner. My first trade today. GIS is up 3.6%. I love this technical reversal here. The highs is 49.18. Now look at the bottoming tails. Look at several bottoming tails. That means that it tried to move lower several times, but failed. If it's going to move over 49.10, I'm going to go long. And it is getting close. Watch the buyers, watch the sellers. Okay, buyers just moved to 49, moving up now. Just moved over 49.10. I'm buying before it moves to a new high. The high is 49.18. And my guess is that once it's going to go over 49.10, which it just did, it's probably going to go over 49.18. You always want to buy when you expect a new high. You don't want to buy at a new high. I mean, the right technical formation, of course, is buying at a new high because that's the breakout. You have resistance. As you see, it just touched the 18 and bounced. But since it came all the way back to the highs, since we see so many bottoming tails, it is very, very likely, almost impossible, that the stock will not move over the highs. Therefore, you need to anticipate a new high and here we go. Here's the new high. The lovely breakout. About to take my partial. Here we go at my target over 40. At any sign of a pullback, I don't want to let it move under 40. Just took my partial. I have a good trade in GIS. And again, you want to buy it before it moves to a new high, not at a new high. NOMD is down 5% today. I'm a little bit concerned because I don't know if this is a reversal or it's just uptrending. I'm going to short it here. It's no big, it's not a big risk. I'm going to risk like 15 cents. Stop is going to be over 19.80. So it's a low risk trade, but I, I'm not sure about this one. Well, NOMD. One more cent higher and I'll be out. Look at the number of sellers at 80. Oh, it's out. Just touched over 80. I'm out. I had a hard stop in uh, NOMD. I don't usually use hard stops, but this case, it has a lot of volume. I have a hard stop and I'm out. NVRO looks very nice here. Look at this reversal here over $60. The stock is up 33%. So for NVRO to spike over 60 and get me approximately a $1 partial, which is, a, which is also my risk, maybe 70, 80 cents, I'm not sure. That should be quite easy. So I'm watching the buyers and the sellers. I want to see the sellers moving over 60. It's very spiky. Look at it now. Okay, just touch the 60. I'm long. Looks good, but did not go yet. Now, now it went through the 60. Good. Look at the 60 cents move. How fast did it do that? 
so fast, but <laughs> bounced back. Same speed. Okay, I'm waiting. I don't trust NVRO anymore. I just set a limit order to sell at 60.35. So watch the buyers here. If they're going to move over 60.35, I'm going to be out with 1,200 shares. I have 2,000. Here we go. Come on now. Okay, great. I just uh, moved out of 1,200 shares. I don't trust it anymore. Well, it just spiked up again, but it's spending too long at this level here, and I'm getting a little bit worried. I needed to put something behind. Well, NVRO didn't quite make it. I'm going to sell some more here. I have 800 shares, selling another 600 here, leaving just 200 just in case I'm wrong because it found a lot of resistance at this level. So I'm glad to have a green trade, but when the stock is not going your way, there's no reason to keep on holding it. So I reduced earlier at a profit, 1,200 shares, now reduced another 600. I'm leaving another 200 just in case it comes down. Um, then I have my stop. When I went to the trading day and I have three winners, one loser, sold the rest of my NVRO and I'm going to finish this day up $1,900. I want to thank you very much for watching this and if you didn't yet join us, just click on the link here and join us for a free 14-day trial so you can trade live with me. All of my trades were called live in the trading room just like I do every day. And if you like this video, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can click on the button right here and see more videos like that. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.